summer rain on a window. This is what I look like right now. I'm going to work like this. This is exactly what I get to wear, what I get to show up in. These are my pants. <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's just the life of being able to wear whatever you want. Obviously within professional standards, but um, as a techie, this is, you know, a lot of it is comfort over fashion. And this sweater actually is from the previous startup I worked at, but today is St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day. And I work for an Irish company. So we are going to go to work and wear green. This doesn't really look like green, but let's just go with it. I think a lot of people have asked me why I wake up so darn early, but generally it's because I have more time in the world and it's quieter in the morning. I can do all the things that I want to do and just like, have that time to myself before people start pinging me for things um, and there's just something really relaxing about being one of the first in the office and like sitting down with a cup of coffee and like opening your laptop I don't know it's like therapy for me so I don't go into the office to be super productive but I do just wake up early because that's like my peaceful time I swear to God, whoever runs our DJ playlist is really good because they've been playing Doja Cat, Cardi B, and now they're playing like old 90s. Coming in early has been really great so that I can do all the things that I want to, which is getting a nice cup of coffee. It's currently 8.23 at the moment, so... I'm gonna grab some food for breakfast and then I'm gonna head downstairs where I'm gonna go hang out and sit with my team. I wanted to do more of these like videos on like office tours, like showing you what it's like working in Singapore at specific companies. So I actually talked to a gaming company and I think I'm gonna do a tour. So if that's interesting, like you wanna know what it's like working in Singapore culturally, um, let me know in the comments below because I think that might be the new direction that I'll take it. Um, so a bit of like traveling, tech, and my personal thoughts, like specifically at that intersection. One of the things that I was really focused on was like the number of views, which unfortunately have been falling. I know I haven't been taking that great care of it, um, but I'm pumped and I want to get back into it. So um, let me know what your thoughts are on about more about like, I guess like the tech focus. Obviously I'm going to do more vlogs uh, around like traveling, but just like, I think it's fascinating to figure out like how other companies are operating here in Singapore, not just American companies, but Singaporean companies, companies from China, from Australia. This place is so globally renowned and there's companies from all over the world. So I think being able to dive into that would be honestly like fascinating. book club now i'm meeting my friends there we're probably gonna get dinner and discuss the four hour work week because it's been a while and we haven't met up yet and this is just my surroundings yeah if i walk i try to walk within like 10 minute spans not like 10 to 30 because you're just going to be dripping in sweat afterwards but if it's a short walk like this one it's like a no-brainer people in singapore are relatively nicely dressed especially if you work downtown whereas like someone like me I work in tech so I don't dress up and I think that's like the funniest part to be honest this video should be sponsored by Genius Central because I go there so often and talk about it so often yep there it is say hi Jamie hi. what are we doing today we're doing a book club Yay. On a book that we didn't write. <laughs> I know, we, we were supposed to read it. Okay, this is mushroom cream pasta. Okay, yum. 
And then I got fish and chips, and we got a one for one deal. Yeah. yeah. It is 9.30 p.m. and I'm headed back home. So we just finished book club. It was the last cycle. And they're gonna start a new cycle with another group of people in a different book. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna join because I feel like I just have too much on my plate at the moment. But most likely what will happen is I'm probably just gonna start working more on like the DAO and like the Web3 project. And then we'll just see where that goes. Hello everyone. Hi, Emily's YouTube and what that is is like this sense of wonder and exploring new worlds which is where our backgrounds come in and so it's like creating these like magical worlds that people might want to 